Hello, I am Sheriff Mark Petway. I am welcoming you back to another edition of Stories from the Frontline. We hope you have enjoyed the stories we have presented so far, and I want to present stories from a wide variety of our personnel. So don't be surprised when we reach out to you. Your stories are what makes our department great. Be sure to watch to see who is featured next here on the Stories from the Frontline. I think as jail deputies, uh, we actually bridge the gap with the community from the inside out. Our job is to, you know, be consistent with our character, develop some type of trust and working relationship, and hopefully they're able to see the type of people that we are, um, have time to reflect while they're confined, um, and then go back into these environments and not and be able to overcome the pressures that they have. And hopefully we're returning a better citizen. I think a high would be I've dealt with an inmate who was under mental observation for mental health. Um, started off in general pop, I think the stress of jail and the um, overall stress of being confined. I think he had been incarcerated about four years, was getting to him so he had a mental break. Um, dealt with him one night, he was having, a, not ideas, but thoughts of harming himself. Um, he ended up making a shank out of um, materials that are already built into the cells. Um, so we had a heart to heart. Uh, so to speak, I was able to talk the shank off of him. He slid it under the door um, and kind of pursue some help for him. Uh, but the biggest thing is communicate. Um, this isn't a one-person job. We got a team. Call somebody, get assistance, ask questions. Uh, I'll do that in a heartbeat. I'll ask an older deputy how they handle a situation and kind of learn from their mistakes or triumphs. Just do your best. Nobody expects more than that. You know, always apply yourself. You do have to take the appropriate amount of time away from this job, whether that's for mental health, whether that's just a physical break, because you can get overworked and your body start to work against you and um, your decision making becomes compromised. Um, so find balance, find a hobby outside of work to participate in or, or something that makes you happy that's not this. Don't always hang with deputies, don't always talk about deputy related business. Um, just find you something completely unrelated and uh, put your attention solely into that when you do have free time and hopefully that creates some type of balance. Being a deputy is, is truly an extension of yourself. Um, it's not some outer garment, it's gotta be inside of you.